Hey everyone, welcome back to another Colossal Brick Flick unboxing and review. Ah, got it right this time. Okay, so today this is the Safari Off-Roader. It is 168 pieces and it is set number 60267. Came out, I think, roughly around December 2019 in time for the holidays. And so, yeah, let's talk about this. All right. So as you can see, this set's 168 pieces, and I literally just finished up the um, the car chase scene between Vito and Duke Detain, and that one was 20 more pieces, and yet it was 10 more dollars. I actually kind of consider this this is definitely a better value because, I, you know, honestly, I could see this set being 25 or 30 versus that one just because you're seeing some unique pieces in this set, which is something I talked about in the other video. So definitely check out that one. Um, should be released about the same time. Um, but in that I, I discuss, and I, and I don't really need to get like into the pricing of Legos because I'm sure this is a very debatable thing amongst you know, Lego enthusiasts. But what I will say is that this one has some unique pieces, such as you know the tree that you can hide in. You've got a parrot, and you've got this uh, looks like a female lion, or maybe it's a mountain lion. I, can't, I don't know which one it is. Um, but you know you've got those. Not to mention the designs, you know. On the panels here, which I don't know if they're stickers yet. I haven't opened it yet, but you know, and then you also have some smoky windows as well. They're like tinted windows, so you've got some pieces in here that are kind of unique. So maybe it kind of blows out my little argument I had earlier about you know the unique pieces kind of driving the price. But I could definitely see people wanting this set for this particular piece as well as this. You know, um, we feel like the. Um, like one of the uh, Jurassic World sets, the one that has the Triceratops, we feel like that one's kind of overpriced, even though we haven't bought it and haven't looked at it and reviewed it, um, but just because it has a Triceratops. And it wouldn't surprise me if that's kind of driving that price. But this one, I don't know, blows my argument out of the water. But let's talk about the set itself. It's really cool. I mean, I don't really have anything in our city that's safari, you know, like themed. Um, I don't even know what I would do with this as far as stop motion. Um, this can definitely take my setting from the city, which I've been doing, and throwing it more into an outdoor setting, so that's cool. Even if I didn't use the mountain lion, particularly, just having these and being able to, um, you know, just have that option is, is something. So I don't have any plans for this, but I wasn't going to let it pass by either, because I don't see many of these in the stores at this point. Um, they're starting to disappear, and I want to grab it, at least if only for this piece right here, for me. You know, you know A, it's camera, you know, which I do have cameras. But having the tree like that is just awesome. Here at the back, um, they've, they've changed it up a little bit. He took, you know, he's out of the tree and they got, you know, she's doing a picture, which is cute. And then, of course, you got the scene up here where he's on top and she's driving. Um, the two minifigs and, of course, the two animals. I mean, that right there alone to me, that alone to me makes this, this worth a very good value of 20. Um, just having those extra pieces. Um, you've seen some of the Star Wars sets. Um, that come with four minifigs for $15, and that to me is a steal. Especially if you're trying to bulk up your, your stormtroopers or um, whatever, the, whatever the figures may be. If you're trying to bulk up your quantities on those, those are no-brainers, easy to get. So this one here was definitely a no-brainer. And who's to say I won't grab another one at some point just to have spare of, the, of these two animals, if anything, but I'll set that. So yeah, so anyway, done talking about that. My hopes and dreams for this set. Let's get into the nitty gritty. We've got a book that's bent. Oh, Kitty jumped right out. I think she was dying to get out of there. Um, got some basic movement here with the head, the legs. This reminds me of uh, something I want to talk about too, which is we don't have it in this set, but horses. I really wish I could get a horse for motion, stop motion that would all four legs move. I'm going to be going to Atlanta Brick Company. Um, which is our local huge Lego place. We do have official Lego stores in Atlanta, which is where we're at, or in the Atlanta area, I should say. But um, Atlanta Brick Company is huge here. And we haven't been yet, but we've watched videos. And I'll definitely tell you to watch the videos just because you'll learn something just from the, the knowledge that they have about older sets and stuff. So definitely there's like a two, two and a half hour video where someone did a tour of Atlanta Brick Company. Check that out. Bag of number one. Bag of number two. And that is it. Alright. So 
what do we have here? Um, there's my three piece. It's similar to the many fake pieces that go over the body like a suit, so that's good. Um, oh yeah, she's wearing a hat. There's the hat right there. Many figs are in here. Oh, she's got a little ascot on. I didn't even realize that. That's cute. But yeah. So anyway, um, we'll get this set together. I will definitely be playing with it a little bit, so I can you know talk about that. And um, I do see stickers, and I was right about the stickers being on the panel, so that's cool. Um, I can see these stickers alone being um, something that's sought after. But anyway, yeah, we'll be back in a little bit. Check it out. All right, guys, welcome back. We've got our van, or I'm sorry, our safari truck. We've got our two minifigs. We have a mountain lion or a lioness. I don't know which one. I'm going to go with mountain lion. And then, of course, it came with a mug as well. Um, let's talk about what we have. Oh, yeah, there's also hair for the guy that's inside the tree there. So let's go ahead and talk about the build itself. Um, of course, a lot of these um, newer vehicles, they're built very well. Um, it's The scale's good for what I need it for. Um, even though I don't quite know what I need it for yet. But I'm um, very impressed overall um, with the presentation as well as, especially the stickers, on the, you know, because they really bring life to this and really, you know, make it seem like it really is a safari vehicle. Um, it's very nice, though. I do like that this one is kind of playing into more of um, multiple people together. You know, you have a driver, you have someone who can be on top. Um, you've got, um, and then, of course, You've got them doing something together, which is, of course, trying to film wildlife. Whether it's the parrot that's with them, or the mountain lion that's out there, or lioness that's out there. And, uh, yeah, the camera, of course, is something we've seen before in a couple of other sets. Um, I actually have another one. I actually have two. We have a camera like this one, as well as a, um old-timey camera that you use for portraits, which came with... Um, the really big 10th anniversary creator set so yeah so um overall this is a very nice set very happy with the minifig um this kind of reminds me of like the the collectible minifigs you can get the different series something that you'd see in that so that's pretty cool and will definitely be useful whether it's with this set or not um so very happy very happy with what came with this especially for the price and yeah can't recommend this one enough whether you're playing with it or plan on using it for um, anything else. That's just, this will be really good for outdoor um, Instagram pictures as well, which may show up maybe one of the first things you see from me with this. But anyway, thanks for watching. Please make sure you like and subscribe, and uh, keep coming back. We'll see you next time.